people always come up to me and ask me about, okay, what do you have now to fix this reading thing for me? Well, I have to step back for a second and say, remember the reading thing is for the 40 and above crowd. So if you're really under the age of 40, this really is not applicable to you. Now for me, when I had my LASIK surgery, I did what's called monovision. And we've got a special tab that describes what monovision is. And primarily I've got one eye that's corrected for distance and one eye that's corrected for near. If we're doing a lens-related surgery, like a refractive lensectomy, we actually have reading correcting lenses now. But let's just talk about the laser vision correction and the options there. One is a laser vision correction on the cornea. There's a couple of things that are coming to fruition, but we still haven't quite got that down to where we want it to be in terms of patient outcomes and patient satisfaction. There are new intracorneal inlays that are coming in the marketplace that are little contact lenses that go in the cornea themselves that allow us to read. One is called the camera lens, and then there's also PresviView. But I think for the most part, where we're going is some of these other designs on the sclera, the white part of the eye, whether that's scleral spacing procedures or laser vision correction like laser ACE, where we're actually restoring accommodation. We're actually making people that can't read, read again with their own natural muscles. And I think that's where we're going and we're currently doing FDA trials with that. So there's a lot of different options for the reading thing. So don't think we haven't thought about it long and hard because we're really working on it.